Welcome. In a previous video, I did a little intro to TubeBuddy that I'm using now on my YouTube channel. And I'll put a link in the description to, actually I'll probably make a playlist. So I'll put a link to the playlist in my description. I'll also put a link to an affiliate link I have for TubeBuddy. And if you use that to sign up for TubeBuddy, it helps me out a little bit. In this video, I'm going to talk about backing up your YouTube videos with TubeBuddy. So I'm logged into my Creator Studio now. And I will say that there's a way you can download your entire YouTube channel uh, from YouTube. So you can go to a site and you can download every single thing, but it's huge. And they don't really let you break out different parts very easily. So and with TubeBuddy, you can download just the list of your videos. And I wrote a program to do that. I have a previous video on that, but you can do all that within TubeBuddy now. So in the Creator Studio, you have the little TubeBuddy utility here, and you can click on Backup. And here it shows the fields that are going to be backed up. And you can say only backup video since my last backup or backup my entire channel every video. So I already did one that was backup my entire channel every video. So I'm not going to click this right now. But if you do click start backup here, it'll give you a link so then you can go download it later because it can take a while to run. But I'm going to take you to that place. So I'll hit X out of here. So there's two places you can go. You can go to the little TubeBuddy menu within YouTube and you can go to website tools and then go to backups and export and that'll take you to the page. Also, if you go to the TubeBuddy website and go to my account, you'll have the little menu here and you can click backups and export there. So this is the backup I did the other day and it makes a CSV file, so I'll click on that. And that downloaded very quickly. Okay, so that downloaded to my downloads folder. So when I downloaded this file, it downloaded as a zip and it had like a um, unique key for it. And then when I unzipped it, the file, the CSV had a unique key also. And I renamed those to uh, TubeBuddy underscore backup because I didn't know if those were like security things. And it was just easier to do that than edit it out later. So we have the CSV file. So I'll open this up in LibreOffice. I'll go with the defaults. So I'll hit OK. So this is going to look a little weird. And I actually record these at 720p, so um, this isn't the ideal spreadsheet viewing uh, resolution. So I'll select this corner here and then I'll change this cell size to be smaller. There we go. So this has the video ID, the channel ID. It has the title of your video. Then we have the tags. And then we have description. I'll double click on this to open it. And this is the video description. Next we have the privacy and I have public there. The date published. The category ID. The category name. The thumbnail URL the watch URL. This says file name, and oh, file name is the upload file name, and it's unknown because I use uh, file, Final Cut to upload them and it doesn't give it a file name. And then we have the date backup, the view count, the comment count, the like count, and the dislike count. So you could go in here and you could sort by uh, column. You wanna see like which one has the most comments, the most views, the most dislikes, likes. Um, another thing you could do is run a spell checker on here, and you could see if you have any spelling errors, uh, on your tags, like if you have a tag that's misspelled, um, that could cause your views to go down. There's lots of analysis you can do um, when this is in a spreadsheet. You don't actually need to have a spreadsheet or use the spreadsheet. You can just open it up in a text file. I'll do that next. So this isn't super useful, but you could look for, um, let me look for the word wheel. I probably have some video about a wheel. Yeah, here's a steering wheel remote video. Um, and you can see this, um, it's delimited. It's kind of hard to read because the description field has so much data in it that it kind of uh, it doesn't look like a typical CSV file you might see. But it is. You can see the quotes here and the commas. If you're good with program, you could parse this out and use this data somehow, or you could look at it in a spreadsheet, look at it in a text file. There's lots of reasons you might want to use this. So that concludes this video. I think my next video or a future video, I'll put it in that same playlist, I'm going to actually parse this out and pull all the URLs out of here so we can take a look at and examine those. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.